What's up guys, it's the Urban Guy here. I'm going to give you the best render settings, quote unquote, export settings for ITV and Final Cut Pro and iMovie if needed. So this is in ITV, you're just going to pick your file, right click and press export. And sorry if you're a PC user, you're not going to have this software. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description to a video where someone else did this for you. So yeah, so click options. Once you click iMovie in the settings, it's under QuickTime format. Right click. You have a bunch of settings. Go up until you get H.264. That's a non-altered file. Uh, don't do current because 59.94, you don't really need that for a very fast frame rate and restrict this to 6500 kb per second and it's not going to be that high so yeah this, it shouldn't be that high and just, oh, i'm sorry this is different settings this is for commentating so just drag it up to put this as automatic and quality up to the best so press ok for the size put it to h.2 whatever the good settings uh, this is what your sound setting should be. This can be dragged up if uh, dragged down to forty four point one if you want to, but the quality of quality of your audio is going to go down for your gameplay. But that's not really going to make a huge difference since you don't really need it since you're going to be commentating. So now I'm just going to export this, and it shouldn't take that long once it starts. Yeah. So now we're just gonna. I have my watermark here for my view increaser network right here so yeah I already have a program and if you don't know how to add a file like so that's all you have to do you just have to drag it into this and drag it onto a new thingy so I'm just gonna get my let's try to find my audio so there's the video so this is the video and this is the audio so I'm just gonna drag the audio underneath this where the audio is presented and drag the video which isn't that long over here except I messed up someone uh, you can do this and then Get rid of this stupid audio. No, I, I messed up again. Stupid. Click this and drag it over that. So now you got your real audio. And this is pretty good quality if I do say so myself. Alrighty, that's not great. It's not what I wanted to do, but this is your quality you're gonna get. I mean, that's pretty good you're not gonna get much better unless you have a uh, uh, whatever magic card so now in Final Cut Pro click file export using QuickTime conversion and with iMovie you're just gonna do QuickTime movie options and put the same exact options you know h.4 29 uh, automatic and round this up to the best press ok size go back to this okay audio and then oops don't want to press that and then finish or whatever and you can press save and it's gonna render it out so that's pretty much all you have to do and I don't really have much more for you guys so uh, see you guys later peace bye